I am Charles Kateri, the Deputy Director of Ghana Permaculture Institute. GPI, that is Ghana Permaculture Institute, was established in 2004 by the late Dr. Paul Yeboah. In 2004, he got the knowledge in the permaculture system when he was a monastery in, um, in Tanobwase in Techman. And when he had the training, he said, no, this system is a system that the our forefathers were using. They were not destroying the land. They were just protecting the land. They were not using synthetic chemicals. That causes a lot of harmful effects to the environment and to humanity as well. Agriculture is both a sufferer and a contributor to climate change. Crop yields are threatened by droughts, floods, and soil degradation. Agriculture accounts for about a quarter of global greenhouse gas emissions. Permaculture, a type of a communal farming developed in the 1970s, could be a viable antidote to destructive monoculture. Permaculture encompasses economic and social aspects in addition to agriculture. Permaculture is one of the viable solutions to help combat climate change and food insecurity for the global population that is malnourished. It is inspired by the everyday relationships found in nature. One of the Institute's greatest ambitions was to phase out unsustainable agricultural techniques and improve the economic situation of rural farmers. Loss of biodiversity due to agriculture is becoming a global issue. Its genetic history is being lost as fewer species are farmed, as well as reliance on expensive imported agrochemicals, fertilizers, and seeds. Ghana Permaculture Institute, on the other hand, does something different all of the practices are concerned with the environment in the Institute we uh, do organic farming where we have different vegetables we have different crops that have been planted where we don't use uh, synthetic chemicals but rather we use organic chemical uh, organic fertilizer that is animal manure we apply sawdust we also use mulching system where we apply coarse materials on the ground where we don't use pesticide, but the mulching system reduces uh, the, crop, the, the crop growth in the institute, okay. in the communities. Mm, so yeah. this is the neem oil? We also have too? neem oil. This neem oil, uh, what we use it for is you can apply it on the skin mm -hmm. when you have some rashes or so. And we also use this neem oil as a pesticide. We mix it with water and other uh, stuff mm -hmm. and then we prepare our pesticide. We don't use uh, chemical mm -hmm. pesticides. You know, when you spray your pesticide, it drives, it kills these microorganisms that comes to destroy the plants. We use um, uh, neem oil. When you use this neem oil, it doesn't kill the insects. Mm -hmm. It only drives them away. So when they come to taste the plants, the taste of the plant is bitter. Therefore, these insects will not taste or will not bite the plant or the leaf of the plant. Mm. Therefore, when they taste it and it is not sweet, they will have to go. So most of the times we use it for our organic uh, pesticide preparation. A rainwater collecting system has been installed and the institute has also installed solar power to rely on clean energy. So examples that we have is caring for the earth is the solar systems that we are using. Instead of using the grid to process all the machines that we have in processing our produce, we use the solar system. That is what we're using. And then caring for the earth okay. and then we are able to care for the earth by also harvesting our raining water instead of us uh, getting some water somewhere because here it got to a time we needed water to do uh, to do our farming all year round 
but we're not getting water. This was how the 24.5 acres of land looked before Dr. Paul Yeboah bought it in 2004 to connect and work with rural and low-income peasant farmers in Ghana on the permaculture design system. Because this land was a bare land when it was acquired. This site was a place where uh, they wind gravels to, uh, to construct the Tichiman Tamale Road. Therefore, the, the, the founder, Dr. Paul Lebo, acquired this place as part of our permaculture principle. We said there's no waste. Waste is a resource. Therefore, what people see as a waste, we are able to translate that into resource. So we claim this land, this land was claimed, or pitches, to reclaim the soil that has been seen, or the land that has been seen as, or that's, that has been discarded. We try to reclaim it so that it can be a farming land. So that is why, as we'll be going around, you will see a lot of green uh, leaves, green things that we have planted that is on this land. But before, this place was just a bare, uh, a red, a gravel soil that nothing was growing okay, in. So we have been able to improve the soil. Dr. Yebua saw the need for a demonstration site where permaculture methodologies and practices could be put into effect for farmers to better appreciate the long-term benefits. He found the system to be interesting because it was the method that his village used until many farmers became interested in the conventional agricultural system. We promote the organic system of farming. Promoting the organic system of farming is looking at what nature does. We make him from nature, that is farming without using synthetic chemicals. But when you use the synthetic chemicals, it kills the microorganisms that uh, degrade the coarse materials for us to get the good soil or fertile soil that is needed to, to, to cultivate our produce. We also care for the environment by promoting afforestation, that is tree planting. Various tree species make up the eco village, including moringa, mango, and mahogany. We have moringa plants here, okay. trees here, okay. that uh, we harvest the leaves, and then we process these leaves, and then we dry them in the in our solar dryer mm. and then we process and we have a machine that process them into this fine food supplement mm, okay. so you can add it to any meals that you'll be taking whether you have your fufu whether you have your porridge whether you have why, tea, why is it you can why is it so it. important why is this so important the, this, these products why are they important yes they are very important one it is promotes it is improving the economic life of our farmers second one it is very good to the human uh, to the human system because this when you take a teaspoon of this moringa you have you get your milk the contents uh, the calcium that you get in milk mm -hmm. the the protein that you get in egg you will mm -hmm. get the same content mm -hmm. uh, the, you will get the when you take four carrots Mm. The, the, the the vitamin A that you will get in carrot, you will get it in this um, moringa powder. When you take a teaspoon, you will get the the protein, the contents that is in uh, the potassium that is in banana. You'll be able to get that same content in this moringa. Sure, sure. Therefore, it's just a storehouse of uh, different vitamins mm. and proteins mm. so it's a food supplement that is added to so I'm any I'm kind of food i'm wondering how I'm does it protect the environment what is the connection the connection to the environment is the plantation of this mm. uh, moringa plant it's a nitrogen fixing plant it fixes nitrogen in the environment that is promoting our soil and then aside that it is also promoting the afforestation system. Therefore, the more farmers plant this moringa, mm. they will be, will be able to promote the afforestation system mm -hmm. and then also pro provide economic impact to the farmers. And then notwithstanding, uh, provide uh, nutrition, add value, uh, nutritional value mm. to our food that we eat. Mm. So these are all from Yeah, these are moringa all from. Products. So we have the Pema Moringa shampoo that is used uh, in bathing the shower gel 
with this one is used in bathing and then we have the perma uh, diabetes capsule mm -hmm. that is made out from the moringa powder mm. so and we, then we also have these ones we have the moringa soap bar mm -hmm. this is moringa soap bar that is uh, soap that is made out of uh, the moringa we use this one to in bathing that's the hard soap these are all products of moringa including products these ones. of moringa and then we have other product that is perma baobab, baobab oil that is distilled that is processed from the baobab the seeds, tree the baobab tree yes and then we have the baobab tree is you know actually the um the fruits are used for porridge and yes, other stuff exactly. but we I have, have the powder seen this before. the oil yes we mm. are able to uh, get oil from the seeds mm. as well so mm. we and process this them here. What? this purposely you can use it for cosmetics you can also cook as well mm. you can use it you can use this one to cook yes what, rice rice you can add it to your rice and maybe a stew you can add it okay. as well and you can also use it for cosmetics okay as well so I mean, let's look in, but, no, in but this one is uh, moringa. Perma moringa ani. Moringa. yeah so perma moringa ani. Mm. why it is perma moringa ani is in our site we have a lot of moringa plants mm. and we have allocated part of our site we have in the permaculture and we have what we call zones mm -hmm. the zones are categorized based on our interaction so we have zone five where we don't usually go so that is where we have set our apiaries that is the beehives mm. where we take this and be uh, the, uh, this honey and with this honey what we realize is that the bees when you we 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 send this our moringa powder after we have gotten the powder we get a chaff we send it closer to the the, the hives these bees feed on it and then when you harvest this honey mm. sometimes you can feel the taste of moringa yeah in the honey. this honey. Quickly, that's why you name it yeah that's moringa. why we name it pure uh, perma moringa, moringa. And is it you quite is it different? very organic very different from uh, not much different but different because when you taste it you feel the taste of moringa in it. In, in this one mm. than the other or uh, anis that we have outside mm. and we don't adulterate our honey just direct from the institute the site All right. so it's very pure Right. The Ghana Permaculture Institute works with over 8,000 farmers in the country. Over the years, the institute is able to teach these farmers how to strategically combine crops for household consumption and business. Currently, we are having over 8,000 farmers across Ghana. Where these farmers, over 78% of these farmers are cultivating Moringa and then planting other species, other cash crop, cash, uh, cashew, uh, cocoa, and other crops that they are able to get economic income from this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 58-year-old Mary Jaba from Kranka in the Nkranza North District is one of the beneficiaries. Mary has planted a variety of crops, including moringa, on her entire seven-acre land. Yeah. Nachi was our baby and I said, Uh, Moranga, and Coon in Yamaba, and Tiamran in Missia, or so you could see an Alipan by Brasso. Then you never die, may I can't pay me and snap me. I go boy, eh, Afosa. You old man, a bloody bisubel, see me at Moranga, or see a dear Moranga, no, Moranga, no, I'm sorry, boy, bear, or Brasso, some Moranga, Yan, Yan Chat, Nayan, Nayan Fam Rampa. Yes, your chair. Yes, your hatter, near this near the Abba, and say a boy, I'll turn over the Abba. New coons watch there, young coon, every bia, and the bia is near the Abba. Georgina Kudum's income has increased over time, thanks to the permaculture. She is one of four farmers who received 1,000 Ghana cities as an award for their dedication and hard work in ensuring the successful implementation of permaculture. 
e nyam faso die pi e free sa dwuma die mu na de meka amana to ye nyina yakoma so na ahye ye nyina nkunan ne se eh moringa dwuma ne ye dwuma bi a eye pa nti yam fa ye ho hyem ye na ye nya ne ye de ma me kura se se award ami nya ne ne e kire se moringa se wo ye na se wo wo ho adaje wo wo ho anije na wo pe wo ho a wutimi ye ne kama e be boa ama afoforo so so enya so mfa so bebere ti ge ye so bia wo ye de mame ti fata sa de wo de gu asase so asase no wo se no wo nya hye ye mfa mfiri mu ti me ya sanim de mi sa ye boa e kama mu ti en de a me ye no wo firi mfa adro bia anka ma asase da me me ma ti akura me mfa mo eh eh adro me mo ase me do ase Fadu mi ma sente adure ndi ho awu ni boy ndi e obi anya na enye ese asase three main tenants of permaculture caring for the earth caring for people and sharing surplus offer a potential path towards climate justice which is a response to well documented findings that climate change disproportionately harms underprivileged groups in economic public health among others a report by Mohamed Nuruddin